Well, welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today has been a good day thus far. I got good sleep last night and I have been up for a few hours now just editing videos, getting stuff ready for today, um, kind of preparing for the day. And so, long day ahead, but uh, let's get into this vlog. If I could, I wish for you to spend Christmas here with me. Y'all, when I tell y'all I love coffee at home. Like Starbucks is great and when I'm out and about, I was even saying yesterday how much I love the Starbucks app, but I don't go there all the time. I may go there once or twice a month, maybe. I actually prefer to make my coffee at home and I don't like, it's not that I don't like, but I'm an old school girl. I'm pretty nostalgic when it comes to coffee. So I like it in a pot. I don't, I don't want a K cup is that what it's called? I don't want a Keurig. Um, I actually at home have a couple of percolators, and that's what I make my coffee in. And when I say it tastes perfect and good every single time, I bought my parents a Ninja coffee maker um, maybe a few years ago, and so that's what this is. And this is good, but let me tell you, when I make it in that percolator, it is something about old school. See, don't always knock old school because. <laughs> Old school be bringing the funk. They be bringing the flavor. Like, there is a difference when you percolate coffee versus using a Keurig. Like, no no shade to Keurig. I know a lot of people use it. Um, but I just prefer a good old cup of coffee from home. So, I don't even drink coffee all the time. But my parents drink it every morning. And I find myself when I'm here, I'm drinking it every morning. But enough about coffee. We have a... Pretty another jam-packed day today, but I'm gonna try, I want to be done by seven o'clock tonight, so I can come home and get a good night's rest because we are staying an extra day. So I'm staying here today. We're gonna get up early in the morning on Wednesday, head back to Atlanta, and my dad actually has a flight. At, it is at 8:50 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, so we'll probably make it back there about six o'clock, and we'll just head straight to the airport and he'll get on the plane and fly right back here. So I didn't want to do it that way, but here we are. This is where we are. So I am going to be shopping a lot today. I have a lot of props to do. Um, oh, the wall project. So after seeing the production from beginning to end with the LED screens, I'm realizing some of those extra wall pieces that we were gonna put up are actually not needed. So I'm all gonna I'm gonna take back the walls that we didn't touch, the wood we didn't touch. I'm gonna take that back. I think there's a stick we didn't cut either. So that saves about sixty dollars or so, maybe. And so I'll be able to recoup that money, use it for something else. Because if you've ever put on production, budget is everything. And so you want every penny to count. And I have a budget. Uh, a check's already been cut out to me to use, and I just want to make sure I manage that money wisely i want to steward that money well especially the fact that this money is from the church so i want to make sure i'm using it wisely i'm not wasting it i'm not just buying the shiniest little thing that i see but i'm being frugal with it and so we'll be hitting up some thrift stores today um some cheap pieces from maybe ikea but something that is lightweight and that's another thing when you're dealing with props and stuff on stage just a little playwrights tool um, you really want it to be things that are very lightweight or give the impression or the illusion that is something else so I remember one production I, I won't I won't give a lot of details because I don't want to offend but I remember we it was one of my earlier productions and I had someone come in and help me with the set and I didn't know much about sets at the time and so he was a what, what would you call him? He wasn't like a... Do we even use the word carpenter anymore? But he definitely worked on homes. I don't know why I'm going like... 
completely blank on names he may have been like a general contractor we'll say it like that and i remember saying i need walls and he brought in like sheetrock because that's what you would put in walls in a house right i put you would use for walls in a house but on a set it's very lightweight it's going to give the illusion of it so you're really looking at like mdf board or something like that that kind of gives the illusion it's a wall but costs like five or ten dollars <laughs> And it's very lightweight. So, just things I picked up along the years. Y'all, I've been doing plays since 2003. So, we, wow, am I up on my, wow, next year will be 20 years that I have been writing plays and producing plays. That's pretty awesome. Um, so, anyway, you guys didn't come on here to hear all that. I'm going to head to the store take this wood back and then really just start grinding out some of these uh, props. I am going to go over to the church and see what props they already have. Here's the thing and hey guys if you're a church and I, it's not just this church I, in my former church we had this problem too. Make sure guys you are storing your props properly and that you're handling them with care. I remember in my former church the guys would you know uh, they would load up the truck to take stuff back to the storage room and just throw the stuff in there. <laughs> and so then when it was time to use it again, the pieces are broken, they're scratched. So take care of your props. Have an organized system um, so that you can have things in a certain place in a certain organized way. And that way you're not worried about like damaging those items i guess for me i think about the fact that i just said a few minutes ago that this is stewardship right? this, is, this is something that god is entrusting to us and we need to manage it well and that's not just with your own personal money that's with anything he's given us stewardship over our bodies he's given us stewardship over our homes our children if you're parents like our possessions they're really not ours they belong to him and we're managing it and so I always just like to make sure that if I'm purchasing items for a church production or anything, I'm managing it well. So with that in mind, let me get up out of here so I can get the shopping done. Come on, let's go. guys I had to change clothes I was not liking the way I was looking this morning that was supposed to be like my outfit to like be on a road trip headed to the house like very comfortable relaxed and um, that's not quite how I want to present myself when I go out in public so I was like you know what let me go up to Mardell's real quick and just buy a little shirt to put on That'll be cute and stylish. They were really cute. It says, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. I will not be shaken. And it has the scripture reference of Psalms 16.8. Wait, where am I going? I always do this. I like getting the car. Oh, no, I'm supposed to go straight. Okay. Uh, so, I'm like, um, let me go find something to put on. Because I, I was looking a little rough <laughs> this morning. I really just I knew I was gonna be like um, seeing some pastors today um, and seeing some of the staff members at the church I, I just didn't want to look old out so I went to the store to get a, a shirt I actually bought two of them um, the other one's cute too so since then I've gone to a thrift store went to Goodwill in Mansfield found a couple of items and then it kind of hit me let's go to that church and see what they already have so they have like this room okay so let me go back the Potter's House Fort Worth they own the entire strip like they bought a shopping strip but there was some existing customers in that shopping strip and some are still there but many of them have moved out and the church just takes over that area for church things so they have this old cleaners which when I was told about it a few years ago, it was really set up or well, they were talking about making it their drama, dance, like fine arts, I should say, prop room. And so because it's a cleaners, you know, it has that like 
revolving belt they were gonna hang their costumes on it which I thought was like a perfect idea but unfortunately that room has become or that that it's not even a room it's an actual uh, space that used to be leased so office space um, they're now it, it really has become like a catch-all place so there's so much stuff in there I, I'm a I'm I should have did some b-roll no you know I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna show you guys that it's a lot of stuff so I spent probably a little over an hour just going through things seeing if I could check stuff off my list and I, I checked quite a few things off there's still a few more things that I need to buy one being a desk if i could lock down this desk y'all like the rest of the stuff i either can order amazon and have it shipped or i could buy some stuff online and have somebody go pick it up you know while i'm back in atlanta but when it comes to this desk i really need to find this desk because i need to go ahead and put this desk on wheels and so i'm looking for you want to see a picture i'm looking for a desk like this similar to that crazy thing is my old church used to have one and they were getting rid of it last year. Um, I mean, not last year, earlier this year. I should have grabbed, like something was saying, grab that. Cause you probably could use it at some point uh, in your productions. But I knew I was moving to Georgia and so it was just like, there's no need of taking any of this stuff there. But if I had known we were gonna be doing this period, um, for Christmas at the Potter's House for with I would have grabbed that desk. I used to have a desk like that that I've given away. And I'm like, God, now I'm having a hard time finding one. So the goal today is I have to find this desk and then I'm going to go to Home Depot and get some casters so that we can make it a rolling desk. Other than that, like the rest of the items that we need to get are things that if we, if I don't find them today, it's okay. Because I can always order them online or like I said, I can have someone buy them in the next week to come. I still have a couple people that I can call and lean on for stuff like this. So it's not a big deal if I don't find everything, but I really, huh, that's nice. Um, I really need to find this desk. So, I'm going to grab me something to eat because Sister Girl is hungry. And I don't, you know, I don't really hang with Fort Worth like this. So, I don't know where things are. Not like Dallas. Like, Dallas and some of the surrounding cities. Like, I know where things are. So, unless I put in GPS and I'm really not trying to get, like, derailed today. So, I may just end up stopping at, um something that just looks familiar and just dropping in and, and getting maybe a salad or even a, um, a sandwich or something like that um, we'll see because I'm not trying to be I, like I said yesterday I'm not trying to be weighed down with food if I could find a smoothie juice place I would probably want to go there but anywho I don't need to bore you guys with oh okay I was going to a thrift store I don't know where I am y'all and the directions are saying, no, you right here. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Mm. I get real concerned when I'm going to places and every. Oh, is that it over there? And in the buildings have burglar bars on them. Like all the windows, all the doors. Oh, Lord, keep me safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, okay. So they've changed the name of it. Okay. So I, it's actually an antique shop. Okay. All right, so this, I, I, hey, I may, I may find some things here. I'm gonna turn this truck around, and um, I think I'm. A, oh, and there's a resale mall. Wait, is that even open? Okay, that doesn't look open. Um, but this place does. So I'm gonna go in here and see what they have, and uh, yeah, let's pray. I find this this desk.
Y'all, I know it's late. <laughs> I've been shopping and putting together projects and uh, yeah, we are down to the wire. It is, I think, eight o'clock at night. And so I need to go ahead and start loading the truck tonight so that we can be up and at it and on the road at 5 a.m. Guys, when we dealing with my dad gotta be on a flight tomorrow night, like there's no wasting time. So we need to be like pulling out of here at five in the morning. So that means I gotta get prepared tonight for tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start loading the truck tonight, getting everything in there. And that way tomorrow morning, literally I get up, uh, kind of freshen myself up and we get in the car and we leave. So that's kind of, that's kind of the plan. So I'm gonna get over here and put some stuff in the car. It's kind of dark, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to take in this scene. It's already dark. So I'll be back in a sec. Actually, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. I guess I was just kind of under that shed area so it seems a little lighter out here um all right so the dogs are out here with me which is somewhat of a problem because <laughs> the, the, if they see any little thing i have no protection like they don't start running all right so i'm going to just try to get this stuff in here um if I can yeah so I'm gonna try to get this stuff in I have their crates and um, I have like a suitcase and a few other things so yes yeah, it's, it's it's getting pretty dark so this is what I'll do I'll come back and kind of wrap the vlog up in a second so we are sitting here watching this election you know me living in Georgia this election is important to me and Right now, Warnock is about 19,000 votes ahead of Herschel Walker. But literally every, what, minute, Dad, it goes back and forth, back and forth. So one minute, you know, Warnock's ahead. Next minute, Herschel Walker's ahead. But I will say for the past, what, five minutes now, um, Warnock's been ahead. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to keep my eye on this tonight. But I'm still prepping for us leaving tomorrow. And I'm actually doing really good with time. It's like 8.32. So I really want to be in bed like 9.30 going on 10 o'clock. So we're going to see if we can make that happen. Y'all, I don't know if you're like me, but I don't care how old I get. Every time I come home, before I leave. I am going to wash my clothes. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if you're like me. I actually didn't start doing this until recently. Because um, I've always just been like, I'll just wash when I get back home. But if it's like less work for me to do when I get home, I'd rather just do that. And that way I can just take my clothes like just out of the <laughs> um, dryer. Oh, excuse me, out of the suitcase. I can just take my I can just take my clothes out of the suitcase and put them straight up. So absolutely love that. So yeah, I'll be um uh, be washing tonight. been a while since I use a washer I always have to like refresh myself on how to do it so everybody's washer is different That's to see the dogs. They are like like I'm under me like I can't do nothing around this camp without them being here. I'm 
will end this vlog here because I'm probably going to take a shower tonight. No, I'm going to give me something to eat. I'm a little hungry. Um, because I haven't really eaten that much today. So I'm going to eat something. I'm probably going to take a shower tonight. I'm probably going to sleep in my clothes. <laughs> no, I ain't going to be that bad. No, I'm probably going to sleep in my clothes. And then in the morning, just wash my face, brush my teeth, get the dog situated, and be about. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and we will check you all tomorrow. If I could, I wish for you, thank